Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Hello, hello. Tim Van Orden here with another episode of Health News. Today I want to talk about a study that came out last week in the Journal of Science. It sheds some light into the mystery of why we sleep. Scientists have been going back and forth for decades trying to figure out what is the purpose of sleep. Well, now we have some more information thanks to a study done at the University of Rochester by Megan Niedergaard. While studying mice, Dr. Niedergaard discovered that when they slept, their brain cells shrunk by an average of 60%, which created huge gaps between the cells, allowing cerebral spinal fluid to flow into the brain at 10 times the normal rate. This fluid helped to clean out toxins and flush out proteins and plaques, including amyloid beta proteins, which are implicated in Alzheimer's disease because they form amyloid plaques. So while these mice slept, their brains were getting cleaned. Mice that didn't sleep did not have the same detoxification taking place. Now this study was done on mice, so we're not sure if this same mechanism exists in the more complex human brain. So my conclusion? Get your sleep. Make sure you're getting adequate sleep. And now I'm going to give you my three top tips for getting better sleep. Number one, don't eat high sugar foods within three hours of going to bed. Sugar requires insulin to be delivered to your cells. Insulin suppresses melatonin production. Melatonin is the hormone that helps you sleep. Insulin also suppresses human growth hormone, or HGH, which is active while you're sleeping and helps the body repair and build. So if you're eating foods with sugar, that includes fruit, before you go to bed, you're not going to be producing enough melatonin and you're not going to be producing enough human growth hormone. Tip number two, avoid bright lights a few hours before you go to sleep. Melatonin production in the brain also requires that the light is going down. So if you're working on the computer or you're in an area that has a lot of light, you're not going to be producing melatonin. Tip number three, avoid stressful activities which produce cortisol and other stress hormones which are going to keep you from sleeping. TV can be a stressful activity. Movies can be a stressful activity. Getting into heated arguments can be a stressful activity. So avoid them. Listen to music that's calming. Watch TV that's calming. If you're going to watch it at all, read a nice calming book. Don't read a horror story. Don't get in a fight with your spouse. You need to be doing things that are very relaxing. But if you're stressed out and you're producing cortisol, you're not going to sleep as well. Okay? I hope that helps. I'll see you soon. Peace out. Bye.